Hello, in this OpenGL video, we are going to show you how to use GLFW to get path drop input. So, for example, if I were to just load up my application, it's not implemented yet, but I'm just going to show you what we're going to try and achieve. If we were to, let's say, drag on this file or drag this file onto our window, we'll be able to get the path of the file or folder. You can drag on folders as well, same principle of the folder folder that you dragged on so you can manipulate that in whatever way your game or application needs to to do this really really simple stuff first of all it's going to do a function declaration at the top it can be void drop callback glfw window int count const char this is a pointer to a pointer paths and these uh, these are all the paths that we are dragging on via our computer and mouse so now I'm just gonna copy and paste this and just implement the function very simple stuff just do for Int i equals zero, i less than count i plus plus. Now in here, it's going to do std c out paths i std and line. And finally, we just need to set our drop callback. So just do gl, GL fw set drop callback window. And for this, just put drop back just make sure you put this line of code anywhere after you have initialized your window anywhere after that is a okay so now we can just run this what I'm gonna do is just open up the applications put it here and now I'm gonna go and drag this file onto our window and as you can see, it's printed out the path. This is a file, but maybe I want to drag on a folder. Again, principle is exactly the same, but it has no extension because a folder doesn't have an extension like my zip file does. You might be thinking, why did we use an array to get the path? Because we're only dragging on one file. But the thing is, you can drag on multiple files. So if, for example, I were to actually I'm going to drag on all of these files so let's just close this and what I'm going to do is delete what's already in the console and drag on all of these bad boys and as you can see the order in which they were or basically the alphabetical order is the order in which they were added to our path array and as a result we've got all the different files that we print I mean that we dragged on it could be a mixture of files and folders it doesn't really matter so that's how you get path drop input using GLFW for OpenGL if you have any questions feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions dot php there'll be a link in the description There'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video and the source code from every other video in this series. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.